Occasionally guys send me meters. Uh, they want me to test. They're trying to sell their meter or something. And uh, sometimes they send me cheapos. And I'll do a little video on them. And give you my thoughts on whether it's useful at all. Okay, this one here is a little cheapy kind of a mini meter. Made by Dr. Meter. Okay, well, whatever. This one's a multimeter, and I'll get all the functions in a minute, but I noticed it's kind of interesting. You can't replace the leads on this thing. So I assume it's supposed to last until the leads fail. And, of course, with the cheap meters, leads are kind of a problem. Uh, this one has all the uh, commensurate protections on it, the little plastic thing, you know, here and all that. Uh, the wires of the leads aren't the best. They're not real flexible. So I don't know how long they'll last. What can this meter do? Well, it actually does quite a bit. It does volts from uh, millivolts on up to, uh, to higher voltage. I think it goes to 600. I'm not really sure. It does... It, um, it goes to DC first, which is usually really not best for HVAC, but you push a function thing and it'll go to AC. So it'll do voltage. Now, this is kind of interesting. The ohms actually is a meg ohm meter. Okay, I wanted to show you that this is actually a meg ohm meter. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm putting it across my hands and it's uh, reading meg ohms. Whether it's accurate or not, I don't know. Okay. Uh, it'll do milliamps, DC or AC. I don't have a lot of use for that. But one of the things it does is microamps. And I'm going to test that in a furnace uh, before I'm done with this and see how I think it does there. It's got some cool things on it, and it actually is just a tiny little meter. Maybe backup meter or something. I don't know. I'm not sure I like to trust cheap meters but okay it's got this funky little thing here which is a flashlight now if you hold it down this goes on but yeah you get a little flashlight mm, yeah, okay so you can use it at night or something meaning auto ranging so <laughs> kind of amazing there it's also got a voltage detector let's see if i can find something for it to detect okay here i have a cord it has power going through it. Let's see if it works. Huh. Now that's 120 volts. I'm going to try this with 24 volts and see what happens. It does seem to work there. Eh. I'm not sure I could really say it works with. 24 volt probably can't say that the one glaring defect I see on this thing is It has a fuse in it. I hate meters with fuses. You can never find the fuse uh, Or you can never find a fuse to replace it You always end up just jumpering it out and then blowing up the meter When it hits something that it's not supposed to and that's what I'm gonna do with this thing I'm gonna try this in ohms at 120 volts and we'll see what happens it says there's a fuse in there but i can't find it it's not in with the battery i guess i could take that thing off i'm not sure you're supposed to take it off i don't know i don't know where it's at but i'm going to go ahead and see if i can blow this thing up okay we're in ohms i'm going to hook this up to 120 volts and let's see if it goes kapoop want you to know I'm shorting the leads together and it's working. Now we're going to try it in the circuit. The light came on. Okay. Now let's see if it still works. Huh, still works. Not bad. Not bad. Amazing. Know what you can see if I short the leads together, it uh, goes back and starts working. You notice what it did. 
I'm going to show you that again. It's possible this thing does not have a fuse in it, even though it says it did. Because a lot of times they change the specs on these things and they don't change anything else. Let's try this again. And I will hook this to 120 volts and we'll see if what this thing actually does. What it should do, what a good meter does, if it's in ohms and you put it on power, it switches automatically to a voltmeter. That's what the good ones do. I mean, I used to blow up meters right and left before that happened, and so I was a happy camper when we got uh, meters that didn't blow up. And I'm not especially thrilled with having one that's got a fuse in it. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, that's all it did. It just go out. It just, uh, I guess, blocked it out because it is it is working. The last test I'm going to do with this meter is the microamps test. So I'm I've got this set up on a flame rod, which is about the only thing we use DC microamps for, and it's in series, placed in the microamp position, and. I'm going to fire this thing up and let's see if it reads microamps. Okay, uh, it is reading. It's reading probably about correctly. That's what I've read on this one before. Uh, I don't compare this to other meters because all meters can be inaccurate. And it's kind of unfair to te test it against a meter that you don't know for sure is accurate. But it is reading microamps, so I guess it does work. Final thoughts on this meter. Is it any good? Well, it does pretty much everything it says. And you know what? I was unable to destroy the fuse in it by hooking it up to voltage in the ohms reading. So... I'm not sure there's a fuse in it at all, which to me is good. The bleeds and stuff actually are fairly high quality, but of course you can't replace them so that if they wear out, they're done. Uh, the, the wire for the leads are not the best. They're not as flexible as they should be. But does it work? Yeah, it does work. It does everything that uh, it, it seems to do everything that it should do. Would I trust it? <laughs> well, uh, it's hard for me to trust a cheap meter because you kind of put your life in the line there. But with any meter, you could always get problems with the leads, with an open or something like that would, that would cause you to read incorrectly. Like if I'm checking voltage and I got an open in the leads, I would not know I was checking voltage. But it does have the little voltage detector, which is not a bad idea to use. In any case, and of course, really, when you use these meters, you should short the leads together when you first start anyway, in the ohms reading, just to be sure there's continuity. I might use it as a backup meter. It's real small, you know, if I want to stick it in my pocket or something. But uh, I'm always going to have a good meter with me. I might use it as a backup. Kind of a neat little meter. There's a model number on there. You can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. And if you're interested, you can you can look into it. Anyway, that's it on that one.